Hi, how are you? I have another book haul for you. I know that I just posted a book haul a couple of videos ago, but this is my May and June book haul and I bought quite a few books in June, so I'm just gonna do another one. First I'm gonna go through the physical books because in a bookstore there was a deal of if you buy three you get a fourth book for free, so I went and did that. The sale was on all paperbacks in the store, so I had a lot to choose from. So even though that bookstore often doesn't have the most recent releases that I am most interested in, and then when they have the stuff that I'm most interested in, I have already purchased them as an ebook, so I can go ahead and buy them also as physical copies, even though some of them are very pretty. But I did manage to find four books that I'm interested in that I didn't think I would be buying, but that's what happened. So the first book that I bought was Blackwater Sister by Zen Zhou, which is like an urban fantasy about this girl who returns, or young woman, who returns to Malaysia where her family is from. I think she has never been to Malaysia and she has her dead grandmother, uh, the ghost of her dead grandmother, talking to her in her head. She was trouble, so is her ghost. I have enjoyed Zen Zhou before. They are quite light reads have been so far. Some of them I have loved, some of them I liked less, but I pretty much always have a good fun time there quick reads, so I picked this up. And the first sentence of Blackwater Sister is, the first thing the ghost said to Chess was, does your mother know you're a pankid? Then I also picked up She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan, which is about this uh, girl who steals her brother's identity. So. Uh, when they were little, they had this seer tell them their futures and there was like a great future for the boy and nothing for the girl. But then the boy dies and the girl steals her brother's identity. And I think this is like a reimagining of the first emperor of China. And I have thought this was a standalone, but now I know this it says one on the spine, so I have been wrong. And the first sentence of She Who Became the Sun is Zhongli village lay flattened under the sun. Then I picked up a Pora book that is taken at the flood by Agatha Christie. I'm reading the Pora books in order and my library doesn't have this. And I think this is the last one that my library doesn't have that I need to buy. So I actually saw that my library had ordered copies of this, so they are coming. But this is quite soon, I think I need to read one or two books before I need to read this one, so I don't want to wait for the library to get their copies, so I pick this one up. I don't know what the mystery is in these, I never looked at it beforehand, so I can't say. There's a prologue, and the first sentence of that is, in every club there is a club war. And the final book that I picked up as a sort of a bonus book was The Appeal by Janice Hallett. One murder, 15 suspects, can you uncover the truth? So I've heard mixed things about this, but I've been quite interested. This is a book that has like, um, this is like emails, has the documents of a murder case, and it sort of challenges you to solve the case based on the documents, and at the end it tells you. Um, I think it has more of like a regular fiction ending where it tells you uh, what really happened and if you were right. The first sentence of the appeal is Sandra, please deliver to Jemmy and Charlotte. So I guess this is sort of a letter for the box of documents being sent to someone. And I sort of picked this up as the fourth book, even though these two were the ones that were the least expensive, so I basically got one of these for free. These are the physical books that I picked up. I also picked up some ebooks. My from the future here, I bought a couple more physical books in July, so I thought I'd add them to this haul. There was a con called FinCon uh, here in Finland uh, recently, and there is always a science fiction and fancy book flea market there, so people can bring their books and they are there for very cheap, and I sort of browsed through the selection and picked four books from there. The first book that I picked up was The Anvil of the World by Cage Baker, uh, who I wanted to try 
uh, out for a while. I've had my eyes on her other series, so I don't know much about this one. When I found this for one euro, I just picked it up. And the cover is really pretty. It has an Ursula K. Le Guin quote. It says that it is her first fantasy novel, and it's a tale of Smith, of the large extended family of Smiths, of the children of the sun. They are a race given to blood feuds, and Smith was formerly an extremely successful assassin. Now he has wearied of his work and is trying to retire into safe obscurity in spite of all those who have sworn to kill him. So there's a caravan, there's a demon apparently, and this assassin who wants to retire. The first sentence of the Anvil of the World is Troon, the golden city, sat within high walls on a plain a thousand miles wide. And then I picked up book two of the Night Runner series. This is Stalking Darkness by Lynn Flewelling. I haven't read the first book in this series, but I want to start it. I have it as an ebook. So this one was, I think, two euros. Yes. And that means that it's a lot cheaper than buying the second as an ebook. So when I finally read the first book, I have this to continue. And this is a series where two male main characters, Sarah Gill and Alec, I think they're in love. I think they're a couple at least, or at least they become a couple during the series. I don't know how long it takes. And they are thieves. That's all I know. I don't want to know a lot more. Not going to read the first sentence of this since it's the second book in a series. The next two, the final two, are a couple of um, nostalgia picks. So I picked up Test of the Twins by um, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. This is the last in the Dragonlance Legends trilogy. And I have been rereading this. And my library doesn't have this third book in English. And I haven't bought the uh, third book as an ebook because it's quite expensive. So when I found this again, for like euro or two, I just picked it up. It's in perfectly fine condition. It's like it hasn't even been read before. It doesn't really like open well or anything. So it seems brand new. That was quite a find. Again, I'm not going to read uh, the first sentence of this since it's the last book in a trilogy. And the final book that I picked up was Dark Heart by Tina Daniel, another dragon last thing. This is from the Meeting Sextet volume three. So this is sort of like, what the characters were doing before the first Dragonlance trilogy, so sort of how they met. And this one is about Kitty Ara, who is the big sister of Raislin and Karaman, who are at the background. You might know I'm really interested in Raislin, and Kitty Ara is like a fun uh, character. I want to check out what her book would be like, and then get some twins tidbits. And the first sentence of Dark Heart is, Kitty Ara Uthmatar stood in the shade of a lone oak on a small rise that overlooked a shallow valley. So now that I've suddenly picked up like eight random physical books, I really need to slow down if I want to continue with bringing my TBR down and everything. Like in the past couple of years, I picked up only books um, or bought only physical books that I really have been awaiting and have been interested in. So now suddenly having eight that are just like randomly picked that I do want to read, but I didn't have like a big idea of buying them in physical format for myself. I really need to slow down a bit. But let's go back to Maya from the past. Out of the ebooks that I bought, I've already read one, and that is The Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Volume 2, by Mo Xiang Tongxiu. And this one is the web novel that the Untamed series is based on. I am finding it uh, fun to read these books. They aren't that amazingly written, but I find it interesting to compare it to the um, TV series, which I, the live action TV series, which I loved, and sort of see what little tidbits more information I can get from the book. So I have fun doing that. And this is like a historical a fantasy about these family relationships, families, warring romance, and also necromancy. I'm just going to read the first sentence because this is the second book in a series. Then I picked up The Language of Roses by Heather Rose Jones, and this I think is a novella, and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, a queer Beauty and the Beast retelling with an aromantic main character. And I've been meaning to try out Heather Rose Jones. I'm really interested in her Alpenia series, which is like a lesbian romance series with um, like an heiress and her bodyguard romance but I thought when I saw this novella and I really into a fairy tale retellings I thought I'd try her out by reading a shorter book I'm really looking forward to this and the first sentence of this is I dream in the dark longing for brightness and warmth then I have a couple of ebooks that I bought from sales the first of those is Flotsam by R.J. Theodore and this is actually a book that I've owned previously it was published by a small press it is a series that had two books and then the publisher, I think, went under and now it's being re 
published from a new small press and the author has does, has done some changes to the book. So even though I owned the first book previously, I haven't read it yet and I thought I'd pick up the new one when it was on sale so I can read the one that has more has been rewritten a bit so it has like more connection with the plot points and some things cleaned out. So this is the first book in the Peridot Shift series and it says to be a fantastical steampunk first contact novel that ties together high magic, high technology and bold characters. So it's sort of like a fantasy sci-fi steampunk which is what I've gathered. I actually picked this up because I am interested in a novella that is set in the same world but the author said that you need to read the first two books in this series before reading that. And the first sentence of Flotsam is, Talis descended toward the sparkling layer of trash below her feet. The next ebook from a sale was The Theft of Sunlight by Indi Sarkanani, and this is set in the same world as Thorn by this author. And Thorn was a retelling, a YA retelling of Goose Girl, and this one I actually don't know if it's another fairy tale retelling or if it's an original story set in that same fantasy world. And I sort of don't want to know um, if it's a fairy tale retelling, I want to be surprised by what it is. I think The Theft of Sunlight is a duology and the second book is coming out like this summer or this year. I sort of decided not to really look into what the plot of this one is about because I really enjoyed Thorn and that's enough for me. All I know is like children have been disappearing. Maybe the main character is trying to solve this. But the first sentence is there's a mangy dog crouched beneath the second to last vegetable cart. And the last ebook that I picked up from sale is The Ninth Rain, the first in the Winnowing Flame trilogy by Jen Williams. This is a fantasy novel that I think has mechanical dragons, and I've heard it's like a really interesting and a unique world, so I am looking forward to that. Again, I don't know anything about the plot, but the first sentence is uh, of the prologue is Will we get into trouble? And finally, let's move on to the library books that I have out. First, I have Patricia A. McKillip's uh, The Riddle Masters game. So this has the three books in the Riddle Master series. And I just saw this sitting on my library shelf and picked it up. I have read Patricia A. McKillip previously. I don't know what this particular series is about, but I do enjoy her writing. So this is a bind up of three books. They're all quite short, but I'm planning to read like the first book and then maybe return this and read the second book later. The first book is called The Riddle Master of Head and it's like 200 pages. But the back of this says, in a land where wizards have long since vanished, Morgan, Prince of Head, is confronted with a challenge much different from that faced by his landbound predecessors. Although he wants only to rule and work the land of his birth, he must instead wander strange foreign realms full of untamed magic in the form of riddling wraiths, mysterious harpists, a lost crown, a magical sword, and an all-knowing high one who rules over all. And the first sentence of it is, Morgan of Head met the high one's harpist one autumn day when the trade ships docked at toll for the season's exchange of goods. Then another book from the library is Amongst Our Weapons by Ben Aronovich, the newest Peter Grant book. And this is like a wizard detective uh, stories set in London. And this one uh, has to do with the London Silver Vaults, which like have a ton of locks and a ton of cameras but somehow there has been a murder inside and the culprit is nowhere to be found. And the first sentence of this one is, I checked that it's not a spoiler for the series, as a rule we don't get to see the bodies when they're fresh. I also have another volume of the Finnish translation of She Called the Chester or La Dame de Monsoro. This one is called Pyha Liga, so the Holy League. And this one is the third part of the translation of the book to finish in four parts. I've had the 60s editions before and this one is from the 30s so it's like an original translation. The 60s books have been like corrected translations from the these 30s books, but I think they are by the same translator, R. Somersalo. But yeah, we'll continue the adventures of Chico de Chester, the Duke of Anjou, uh, Dame de Montsoreau. All sorts of mysteries are still at hand, as this is like halfway through the book. So, And I also have a manga from the library. I have the first volume of Spy Family or Spy X Family. Are you supposed to say the X? And this is by Tatsuya Endo. 
Everyone has been raving about the series, so I thought I'd check it out. It's about like this undercover family, I think, where one of them is a spy and one of them is an assassin. And it says the kid is a telepath, so that's a bit different. Uh, at first I thought it didn't sound like my kind of thing, but it might be. And I also have a random movie from the library. I have Boys from County Hell, which is a vampire movie from Ireland. And I just picked this up randomly because I learned about a vampire movie, so I put a hold on it. This one has like a group of road workers who broke the piece of an ancient cemetery where a vampire is resting and the vampire wakes up and all sorts of chaos ensues, I think. So that's the end. This is my book haul. Let me know if you have read any of these and I'll see you in my next video.